Hey, it's your girl Kay Did and I'm welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here today. Click subscribe. Click the like button. If you like, if you don't like, then I guess kick the. I said kick the. Oh my God, not kick me. But <laughs> click the. Um, you know, down button, just like, you know, it is what it is. You have your own opinions. I have my own opinion. It is what it is. All right. So, um, I went to England, as you know, for my first time in the UK and I went to Paris over the summertime. I don't know how your, bro your broke girl did it, but I did in the grace of God. But I stopped working actually around June and that's the reason why they, my contract ended in June. Well, this is the reason they say they let me go. Because I was going on a church trip, which no other job I had had ever had a problem. But they exclaimed, I was going on a church trip. That's why they let me go, which is not true. Um, I don't know if y'all want to hear the story or not. Um, I was, I want to do it so bad. And there's a lot of facts. And I want to probably, probably going to do the video, put it on, um, on listed or private. And when I feel like doing it, if you want to see it. Probably gonna be a long video too. I will definitely record it, like sh show it to the public. I don't know, to my, to my, depending. On the, the short story is, the reason why they really, and they cut out other people out the job, like people lost their jobs. Like, it just, all right. There's about, I wanna say 10 counselors, probably less, probably eight or nine. Some people lost their jobs, two people quit, and another pe people got like transferred to other places because of the stupid supervisor. Like, she was so dumb. And a person who's ahead of her, they thought it was okay that somebody basically hurt a child. They gave them no repercussions for it. So if you wanna see a story about that, and hear about my last job and why I'm not working right now, and hopefully I can get a job soon because Christmas is coming up and I wanna get Katanya. Well, I have one of her gifts already. I need to get a second one. And you know, I'm doing 25 days of Christmas. So, you know, I'm giving her small gifts in the middle. So thank God that's not breaking my pocket. Thank God. I got a gift card from that survey that I did, so I was able to actually buy Katani her first gift. The second gift is it's still it's nothing crazy. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but um, actually, if you watch my other videos, you know what it is already. I just can't say because she's behind me and I don't want her to hear it. So, yeah. Why? Why are you in there? Girl, why is my closet that well open? She got behind me looking crazy, looking like a catch back there. Okay. Oh Jesus, she's doing a lot today. I had her sweeping because you know you gotta put these little kids to work. I don't care. You put play doh on your bed and I put it on the floor. You better clean up that play doh because you know I think what it is the concept I give her play doh. She doesn't understand the concept that if you don't put play doh back in the jar, it it dries out and it comes to like little flakes and stuff or just hard. So I think that's the problem. And I gave her a lot of Play-Doh for last year for um, 25 days of Christmas. So, yeah. Um, what I was going to say? Oh, Lord. I forgot what this video is about. My brain, Lord Jesus. When I start forgetting things when I'm this young, when I'm still old, I think I'm turning to my mother. I need to start drinking some stuff because my mother has dementia. And I don't want to turn into my mom. So, a lot of things I do like her. And I'm like, I don't like that part of me was like her, actually. So, uh, um, I'm trying to be the cool mom and I'm, she wasn't a cool mom. She was an uncool mom. People said they liked her. I don't know why. Because I didn't see what they saw. So I think because they, they weren't her kids. That's why. Let's turn into a different kind of video. I did not come here for this. That's a different story. If you want to hear a story about me and my mom, I have stories. Not much because we didn't really do not much together. We never got along. So pretty much. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's how that goes. Um. I guess she did the best from what the culture she came from. What can you do? And so basically, so this actually is a video because you, as I said before, I you know, I went to England, I went to Patty, um, Paris. I wasn't looking at the people that much and because I wasn't really in the culture. Like I didn't know somebody down there and I went to their house and hang out with them and saw people they were around. So I can't even tell this as much. I think more England I could tell just because I went down there for a church trip and because I was around family, like. Hi guys, I'm so sorry about the cut. Um, as if you're, no, if you're new here, you might not know, I usually don't do edits unless it's like 
is an event through the day or weekend or something like that i usually don't do cuts i don't like to edit to be honest and i just feel like you get the more authentic person when you do that but because of these new children's stuff and things i try to be very careful on what they see of my daughter on here because i just don't want the, the problem and she came to she you could honestly i don't think you saw her face on the back of her but um just to be safe and certain things i'm not gonna try to have her and i got one i'm saying is a problem blase blase and the third and i realized so i made sure before i even did this part i edited her out <laughs> of the last one with my phone so i'm just gonna mesh these together and the thing with also well, i don't like editing with the software that i have probably this happens to everybody the one i have i need to find a new one it takes forever to put videos together and that really annoys me and sometimes if i don't keep it on the actual thing like keep it on the screen instead of going to something else it won't mesh together properly i prefer having just one file I could just put it straight to YouTube. And I think God, I look back, I didn't realize how fast I was talking because I never do. And the funny thing, people who have been here for a while and been dealing with my fast talking, I commend you that you can even understand what I'm saying. I know it's fast. I like talking fast. Um, I, short story. The reason why I talk fast is because I think it was, I believe it was fourth or fifth grade, big pun, a fat Joe. It was a fat person in rap. And he was doing, like, you know, he's talking very fast and he's doing it. And I was like, oh my God, I like that. And ever since then, I learned how to talk fast. And then now it's harder to control on someone's stage or doing like film work. And I, I don't mean like film work like YouTube. I mean like if I'm like if I'm talking to somebody on the news, I've done stuff like PBS before, or I've done something for the news people by my house before. Sorry. Or when I do shows. Well, one time I did a show and I was talking too fast by accident, but um, I calmed down. So I know how to slowly talk. It's just that. I get excited and that's why I talk like that. But I feel like it makes like, when I talk slower, I feel like that's not me, that's like a fake me. But it's still me, I don't know how to explain it. But I feel like when I talk fast, it's me and I, you really get the, the energy of me. But anyway, what I was saying in the last video is basically, when I went to England, I was more around people and family, so I really got the dynamic of the country. I, I personally feel like, I feel like when you go out there, I guess you can see it, but people, when you know, like, we are in New York or wherever you are, when you're passing by somebody, it's usually by their self, unless it's like a holiday, by, like, with their family, when you're in a, you know, environment with people, you can see how they are and who they are around. So, this is really a comparison compared to America to England. Um, I've been to a couple of states, so I could definitely, you know... <coughs> I've been obviously more around America than England, but people who have also visited England and people who live down there, they said the same exact thing. So I think I'm on a roll with this. I think I'm, it's real and it's like, it's interesting. Um, because the history of America, America is as, as is, you know, they build on racism, they build on immigrants. That's what America is known for. That's what they are about. People might try to deny it, whatever, whatever. I personally haven't felt racism before in New York, or I mean, in my life. Um, I've been around the inside. If you want to even go into more into depth than that, but you know, personally, I haven't felt it. If I didn't read about it, like it even happened, I would even know it had happened because I never, I never grew up in that environment. Um, I talked to my friends, and they said they haven't. I only know one person. I only asked probably two people about this incident to be honest. Um, I haven't acted like a, a whole demographic, but I asked my friend. She's Jamaican. She said she has felt racism in New York City. She grew up in, well, she was born in Jamaica, but she was raised here. Uh, this other girl, she was Haitian. She's lighter than me. The person who, who seen it before, she was a, she's darker skin than I am. And the person I asked her if she felt racism before in New York, she said she hasn't, and she's light skin. So I don't know if that makes a difference. From what I see, you can hear from both sides. They said there's light skin privilege. That's not even the point of this video, but I, whatever. You're going to hear more about that or talk about those things. Um, right down below if you want to hear my thoughts about it. I'm not really like, you know, that kind of person. I'm not that kind of YouTuber. I know people on here are, 
Um, but yeah, I don't think I have much to speak about it, to be honest. I have obviously an opinion about these things that I am a brown skin person. But um, yeah, I'm not that kind of activist kind of, I'm coming on here to tell you black lives matter. I'm not that kind of person. I do think we matter because we're, we're the bomb, just saying, bombs.com. But it's just, you know, I'm not that kind of rah-rah person about that basically not even about this video but one difference i saw in england versus america i saw a lot of different not a lot uh, certain differences one thing which i didn't actually think about before but i just thought about right now from all right i was talking to somebody yesterday and they told me like we're talking about like being nice english people are hella nice i don't know what it is probably people i just met and when I was traveling by myself, when I was around people that I didn't know, I stayed in England by myself for a couple of days before I went to Paris. People were hella nice. Like, people were really nice. Really, really nice. I'm not saying that New Yorkers not nice. New Yorkers are nice at this point. Like, they're not... They're nice when it's a tragedy. Like, <laughs> that sounds so mean. They're nice when something bad has just happened. And they're nice for like a month. And then after that, they come back to their reactivity. You feel me? Um is much nicer i don't think paris is much nicer but england is definitely much nicer than america um what else what else i can say but what my main point was is the diversity of like interracial dating and interracial marriages and interracial kids that you could see compared to america probably is not the same effect like i don't know statistics i can't tell you that i didn't do that kind of research but from i'm saying from what i see i've been to a couple of states in america it's like florida obviously new york new jersey um connecticut um where have i been i've been to like Dallas, atlanta um i've been to a couple of states in america you know i've been to over 10. let's say that i can't think of all the states like virginia new vermont like i've been to a couple of places in america you feel me i've been to a couple of states i've been to in england i've been to london I've been to Wolverhampton. Excuse my, my accent. <laughs> Trying to have an accent when I say Wolverhampton. I went to Wolverhampton. Uber. <laughs> my thing is Wolverhampton. Just Wolverhampton. Um, I've been to Birmingham. Birmingham. That's how. You, that's what it is. At like, Birmingham. I went to somewhere else. I forgot what it was. I went to about three different. I don't think they call. They're not called. I don't think they call. But I know they're not called states because it's not the same thing. Like in America. I want to say it's, it's a Providence. No, Providence. I don't think that's what it is. I don't know. Probably. Because I like Jamaica, but not really. You, you know, because they took over. J British took over Jamaica. But I some things are similar. But anyway, not even a point. But it's just so funny. Like, interracial dating. I feel like when people see interracial couples sometimes. I feel like it depends what state you're living or whatever. People look at them like. You guys are together. Like, they even have the eye, like, some people are accepting, but it's like most people are not accepting. And they look at them with the, like, the, the cross eye, like, do you see to the left, to the left? Like, do you really see that going on? Um, but I feel like in England, like, everybody's mixed up like a melting pot of people. And you know what's so funny when I went down there? I saw a lot of Muslims. Like, I saw a lot of Muslims. And I feel like they're more freer to be over there, and I think after 9-11, all of them moved to England. That's what it seemed like to me. Cause I promise you, everywhere I go was a Muslim. I never seen that much Muslim people in my life. And I live in New York City. That's how, that's how much Muslims are there. And I'm cool with Muslims. They usually, they usually very, very nice people, so I got no problem. I feel like all the people, like say Jewish people, Muslim people, people always say, oh my God, these people are so da 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 da. But I always have good like interaction with these people, so I can never have the same experience like other people. like. I grew up with people who are Jewish. Like, my mother worked for them, and they were amaz amazing. They were amazing to me. They're nice to me. They give me Christmas stuff. And they even celebrate Christmas, like. And they celebrate their little day-to-day -day stuff. And they were always nice to me. My mother grew up, had um, Muslim co-workers. They were amazing. Like, I don't know. Muslim people seem to be so daggone nice. I don't know what it is. They always, and it always attracts me. I don't know because it's my name or my look. Like, I always... I know this one girl, I call her Bean Bean, and she is Muslim, and she's amazing. Like, she's, when I was in the shelter, 
oh my god you like when i first went to shelter i felt like people were gonna judge me and, da, da, da. and she didn't maybe she judged me on the inside but she was just cool like it didn't even phase her that i was in the shelter she, i think she felt bad for me mostly but she was just like she was the best person ever i promise you like that's one thing when you go in the shelter i feel like people you feel like people are gonna judge you probably i don't know about anybody but personally that's what i felt but i'm like over there, it's so like mixed and matched and twinsed and twined. These little mixed kids, they look so pretty. And it doesn't seem like nobody even cares. Probably, I think the history of England, because it's different. Probably not different. I really don't know what the history of England is, to be honest. So I can't really speak on that. I know from the theater aspect and Shakespeare and things like that. I don't really know that much about the history, but I feel like, you know, slaves went everywhere. So that's pretty much how I feel. Um, but it just feel like they're so much freer and it feel like nobody's judging them for dating who they want to date and things like that. So it's like, it's, that's a difference that I see America, even though America is doing it and it's getting more widespread that people can like date whoever they want to date. Um, I mean like in nationality wise, it's still not, it's still not accepted. Like if you see a white girl and a black guy, it still look like people look at them like, are you serious? <laughs> and it's like, it shouldn't be that way. People should be open. And it's like, it's so weird. But um, I was talking to this Russian guy yesterday, right? He told me, oh, in Russia, he never saw a black person. When he came to America, he didn't he didn't know that we existed. And I'm like, what? He said he came here, he started dating all everybody. He was dating the Hispanics, the um, the black girl, the Asian. He was getting everybody because in his, granted, he said China is near. I don't know how... One thing, I don't know geography either, right? I just know Canada is near America because they're connected when I go on the border. And that Mexico is near that bitch. But I don't really know, you know. Other than that, I don't know anywhere else. I'm just I'm just saying. But he said, because basically China is closer to Russia or whatever, like nearby or whatever. So I don't know if it's just close or it's connected. You know, those countries be like, whatever. Really, right? So, yes, I was like, Wow. He said, yeah, he don't. He never seen a black person before over there, things like that. I'm like, that's so interesting that I, to hear that, to be honest. It's so interesting. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, sorry. But, um, yeah, it's just so interesting that it's so free. I think the history is de definitely the reason why it seems weird up here and that over there is more freer and just whatever, whatever. But from, I've, I've actually watched YouTube videos and like people who are black over there say they feel the racism. And I'm like, it's so weird that you could feel that over there. I guess everywhere in the world has racism, to be honest, to a certain degree, no matter if you are this, like people in the same color, they say, nah, you can't be able to say, I'm not even getting into that. But um, they say they feel over them like that's so weird because they seem like a, so freeing. They love everybody, no matter what color skin you are. But I've watched people who are from that country say, oh, they have felt it like they feel when they go down the street, people are watching them. I'm like, really? Is that the Americans going over there doing that to y'all? I feel like th so they're so loving as a people, which I could be wrong. Probably just got the good, probably I got when I was there, I just saw all the tourist people. I just went with the church people and I was like, okay, everybody's loving. But I went around different church people, like, I was at the pastor's house and the kids go to different churches, and I was around their people, and their people just seemed just so loving and caring and so nice, so I don't really don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. And their kids were all mixed, their grandkids are all mixed. It's like, everybody was just literally mixing up, like, mixing, mixing, so I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it's just a difference, and I feel like we, we should adopt more of the different, like, obviously people in America do that, but it's just like, it should be more accepting, I, I think, in that aspect. I'm just saying. Not in everything. Because some things America do, I'm like, you need to drop that boo. You need to drop that boo. Is it so weird that, this is off the topic, my daughter, like, everything should be like, she, he, the R train, she to feel so lonely. Because, you know, like, um, I don't know what stop we was at. We was at some stop, and it said R train over here I think and it said uh, two other trains were over here and she said oh my god the R train is by herself I'm like how you know it's a she why she gotta be a she everything is a she for you everything is a she for you I don't know <laughs> but anyway guys thank you for watching thank you for understanding oh my god I've been chatting for that long 
I chat too much. I chat too much. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe later. Peace. I'm blessed and happy.